So receiving organs is not un-African. So you won't find a lot of people having issues with receiving organs. It's giving organs or signing up to be an organ donor, which seems to be a little bit of an issue, which I'll explain in just a bit, right? See, the problem with not sending istumbu, espelele, or complete body, into the grave is that when our ancestors get to, they say, we're fine, but where is the heart, where's the liver, where's the lungs, where's the eyes? For real? Reason being, uh -huh. is abandu mabefunuk twebula with ijos, lako, after you have passed away, they can use those organs. You see, so now if the organ, the, the purpose of sending is to say, that they are complete, you can be certain that no one else with their liver, eyes, or whatever the case may be. But then how is it different to receiving somebody's organ? The thing is with receiving somebody's organ, because now we need an organ for this person. But before we even get to the point of receiving an organ, you need to first look at the underlying spiritual cause of the heart failure, the liver failure, um, or the loss of eyesight. Because you shouldn't get to that point of having to receive organs. If you, are, if you do need a liver transplant or a heart transplant, there's clearly an underlying reason which needs to be addressed because what has happened to progress you to such a point where you have to get a completely different organ from someone else? I really like that you're saying that because there are modalities from Western spirituality that talk about metaphysical causes for various diseases and ailments. And so obviously, um, you know, in our African traditions, it has not maybe been uh, written down or put into books, but the same thing exists where a spiritual malaise will be the reason why mm. some physical mm. manifestation is happening. That's what you're saying. Most definitely. Yeah. I mean, if we take, for example, something like your, um, your bowel syndromes, yeah. your IBS, um, um, and your, your, your autoimmune diseases yeah. that cause things that you need a liver, a new liver or a new heart. Most of the time, those are always tied to not necessarily an underlying, uh, not necessarily um, an unanswered calling. But if you are the descendant of a calling and the gifts that you have, yeah. then what you have inherited are gifts that are dirty and then those need to be inherited. So sorry, those need to be cleansed. So when you're, pa and most of the time, most of the time, this stems from parents or grandparents not doing something. But of course, remember, back in apartheid, they didn't, they had the witchcraft act. So it's not that they didn't want to or couldn't understand. Yes. Sometimes they just simply couldn't yes. because of the law. Okay, I'm going to open up the uh, voice notes now. And if you have questions for Sia, if you've walked this path, if you have this experience, of organ donation, or maybe you had wanted to be an organ donor. We live in these modern times, but then the ancestors were like, I went out! Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you stopped yourself. Then let us know what your experiences are. Uh, and maybe you did donate an organ mm. and you've had some sort of um, repercussions as a result. Yeah. I'm curious to know, before we carry on with organ donation, you're talking about how mm. more the entirety of their body must go into the ground. What happens in the case of amputation or you have an accident and you lose mm. some part of your mm. body? What do the ancestors say in that case? Okay. If, you, let's say you get into a car accident and you, and you, you get your leg amputated, right? Mm. Up until that point, okay? You need to go to your ancestors. Why, what caused this accident? Right? Then once you've addressed the cause of the accident, the fact that you're not going into the grave with your complete leg, that's already been dealt with. That uh, part that's missing has been cleansed okay. because you've done, you've dealt with the spiritual cause okay. of that particular accident. Because the hospitals don't let you go off with your limb. No, that's no, no, medical no, waste. You're not that's, that's medical there's waste. There's no African spiritualist law that uh, overrides the, mm. the medical law, is No, there? no, no. But, but you don't necessarily don't need, need to, to go back with okay. it. But you need to address the spiritual cause gotcha. behind the accident. All right, so if we're talking about organs and we're saying that a complete person needs to be buried, so we're saying that this completely is out of the um, out of mm. order completely as an African. Well, I'm not going to say it's out of order or it's okay. Here's the problem if I donate, I say I'm going to be an organ donor, right. someone gives, and I say, okay, if I need to I'm going to give it to so-and-so, right? I have no guarantee to that person 
you mm. see. That is the only real concern. I mean, if you want to do organ donation, I suppose it's better if it's to another family member. If me, oh, and I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm donating to money, I'm keys. Yeah, but yes, family members, but at least if it's someone who's in the family, you'll pick it up quicker, as opposed to if it's someone that you have absolutely no idea is walking around with. The, and that is the concern. If you can find a way to guarantee your ancestors, or you'll be sure that the organs of your deceased loved one, because you are giving them access, right? Can you do something to say a prayer, to tell the ancestors what the plan mm. is in order to protect that from happening? No, most certainly. I think, right? If it's a male that you're the, then, or a female, use a male or female chicken, obviously corresponding with the gender of the individual. Emphasis on Israel, it's an, a request for this person to be an organ donor or to donate their organs, right? And then you wait for him, Bendulo for Abanda Badal. No answer is also an answer. Yes, yes. Sounds like a long thing, this, yeah? I mean, why would you want to push through all of those processes to be mm. an organ donor? Isn't this supporting, then, why 0.2% of South Africans mm. are donating? That, that, that's the thing. That's also why 0.2% of South Africans are donating. It, it's, it's part of the reason why. It's, it's that whole thing of we're all trying to get back to our African spirituality and yeah. our journeys. We're trying to minimize the risks um, and a lot of us have umsamu where big nezindo that happen, big nokanga, noktagata, and we're trying to minimize the risks within our family, mm. you know. And giving away org or organ donation is is seen as a risk. Mm. And if there's a way to work around that and protect it, then that'll be great. But at the moment. It's, there isn't one. We're yet to find one. So at the moment, the SANBS is also talking about how the blood bank stocks mm. are low. So let's talk about blood transfusions. Is oh, that okay. also un African? Okay, so blood, um, because it's something that you produce in abundance, and it's not like, I've only got one heart, right? I'm not going to make another heart. I'm not going to make another liver. And blood is, con it's, it's a... It's a, a resource, something that in your body that's continuously being replenished. Same with saliva, same with any other body fluid, right? I don't want a saliva. So, Trans donating... <laughs> <laughs> but I understand what you're saying, yes. So, donating blood is absolutely fine. I, myself, donate blood. Okay. So, I, I give up my blood every, I think it's every six weeks or whenever I can. So, giving away, donating blood, that's not a problem. I'd encourage people to, to give away, their, to, to, to be a blood donor. The only, because you're not going to make... The thing is, if I give away my liver or heart or a kidney, there's no replenishment that's going to happen there. So if you're giving away something as abundant as, as blood, you know, I think if I donate about 800 mils today, you know, a couple of weeks later, it's back. So on that logic, then sperm donation is A-OK -okay as well, right? But sperm donation involves a child now, you see. And now when there's a child involved, now we're talking about surnames and we're talking about which surname does this child keep? I think those are very interesting case that we can discuss where I think one gentleman donated his sperm to a family, to, to like friends, and now he signed a contract saying that the child is yours, but now he wants access to the yeah. child. So I, I wrote I a thread that story on Twitter yeah, like, about oh, it. That's where I read it from, your so thread. So something mm. definitely we can look at. It was a very interesting case from a spiritual perspective. I mean, I think from an African spiritual perspective, if I understand correctly, some of your goals is to dispel some of these confusing points mm. that mm. maybe Western thinking and influence has come into play and we just really nearly donating, taking, doing whatever, mm. where there are African spiritualist um, mm. consequences that we've got to know about so we make informed decisions. Mm. So send us your voice notes right now. We'll be right back. We're with Siam Kize, who's an African spiritualist advisor this morning, talking to us about organ donation in relation to African spirituality. You can send your voice notes and your questions in right now. We've got uh, another few moments with Siam Kize. All right, so we were talking about, you know, this idea of what happens potentially mm. if you 
donate your organs and you were yeah. saying that yeah. whoever the recipient is you cannot guarantee whether they're going mm. to do something you know right mm. so we, mm. we've seen all of this muti killings and organ harvesting and, and things like that so yeah. i wonder when you say that potential for danger exists what are we actually mm. talking about Sia? what can they do with those organs so when i say that's potential danger what they can do is you create a spiritual connection or a tie to umsamo work right so if my umsamo is problematic and has generational traumas and curses that i'm not actually willing to resolve instead of dealing with that i want access to your umsamo which is already perfect but i know that my brother's got your heart or my brother has got your, your father's heart, right? So by using that which is already in my brother, Senga Twebula, indirectly, and I can connect to your ancestors. Oh and then what's meant for you comes to my brother and then it comes to our family. Which is what Uktwala is. It's a form mm. of Uktwala, because mm. Uktwala is forming Absolutely. this um, false or, uh, yeah, this false connection, you know, to our ancestors so that the wealth comes directly to you. And then what happens is that now you, especially if you're going to steal the heart of someone who is yeah. spiritually gifted, yeah. right? So if, for example, if someone's gonna take my dad's heart, for example, mm. they're gonna say, okay, fine. Mm. You see, now our, now what was supposed to um, end up with either myself, my sister or my brother or yeah. my niece and nephew, okay, is no longer ending up yeah. here. And then we are the ones suffering the consequences of being the descendants of gifts that are no longer there or yeah. are no longer functional. And that's interesting. Then it potentially leaves your entire lineage open for, for whatever it is mm. that that person potentially can do. What about um, autopsies, right? So this is now after somebody has passed away and you need to investigate how they have died, what their yeah. reasons for death are. What are the African spiritualist things to do mm in order to make sure that that process is safe. Okay. So uh, an autopsy is, is perfectly fine. An autopsy is something that is encouraged as well. I always tell my clients, how did the person pass away? What did the autopsy say? Okay. Because when there's no clarity on the autopsy, right, then it also indicates that there's something spiritual, okay? And also the nice thing with an autopsy is it can also indicate the kind of spiritual problem that we need to be addressing. But gotcha. Because it actually does help our healers when they know that, okay, fine, the autopsy said A, B, C, D, F, G. Absolutely nothing wrong with an autopsy. Very different if you're going to donate your body gotcha. to science. Tell us about that. <laughs> I have a great, great grandfather who his yeah. whole life was like, donate my body to science. Mm, mm. And I don't think that we did that. So now, is he <laughs> upset with us or is he happy that he got there to the gates of heaven and mm. now the rest of the Mahuluke are happy with him? So if you're seeing him in your dreams and he's clean and he's healthy and he's at peace, that means the decision that you made for him that was against what he wanted is what he actually needed. Wow. Sometimes I can want to be cremated or donate my body to science, but it's actually not what is what 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 I need. Okay. You see. Okay. So in terms of donating to body to science, it's something that I wouldn't encourage because then it it's funny singwaban exactly. Right? Because we are planting you into this earth and then your first and last piece of flesh come together and then because energy should never be cre created or destroyed. It should be recycled and okay. transformed. So the energy now of your body should be placed into the soil and you complete the circle of life, right? Because Tina Mazulu, your, your belly button, we bury it, which is, signifies the first piece of life. And then when you bury your body, your first and last piece of flesh come together and that signifies the completion of your circle of so life. So then instead of going to the graveyard here, we can go to the Witz um, <laughs> Museum and we can go visit you there. No? So as someone who's actually worked in a cadaver in second year, yeah. I would not want that to be happening. I wouldn't want uh, some teenage, some 21 year old, 19 year olds. I mean, we were quite scientific in the way yeah, we yeah. cut up the body during, you know, Friday dissection, but I would not that much. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he's lived many lives and he has many answers. So let's see some of your comments that have come through now on our voice notes. Hi, Sia. I'm going to put a lot of comments from my life. Because there's this theory of the band of my bafa, but Kisha Matumbu, but Kisha Topo, so. I affect a journey. I journey. I journey to is a number of cocoa beach. 
kutsi ba receive i list dumbule so uma u ngwa chona ntle le na khoso so incomplete so ku ngaphelela thank you you got it mm, okay so if i heard him correctly he was saying that the theory that they remove the brains the intestines um the insides basically when mm. they prepare the body mm. for burial right is that in a specific culture or what is that i'm not sure I'm, I, I i can't actually say what happens at a mortuary because i'm not sure but I, I assume he's referring to what's happening at the mortuary that some cultures remove some people remove all of that right if it's happening at a mortuary it should be destroyed so that no one else can use it if you're going to your grave and you're not complete but that organ has been destroyed it's very different to if that organ is walking around or it's still available or at risk of being used, right? But if it's destroyed, then no one can do anything with it. Well, there's your answer. Do we have some more voice notes? Let's go ahead. Good morning, morning show. Putsia, nye nga doneta nge kandalam two years back. So, bing kaluk buza uguti izo ng afekta ganjani or umduana loyo uzo afekta ganjani in kilo mailu kikubega. So I was asking the, yeah. the kind of male version of that with um, sperm donation, mm, but mm, then mm. yes, egg donation can happen also. What happens then? You see now, the issue is someone's going to use that egg or may or may not use that egg, okay? And then she's going to find a man that she's ready to have a child with, right? And then she's gonna she might struggle to conceive. Gandaba Dala are going to say, already usen unainga ne hambaya already. Iko ne pilai. Right? In that instance, Kuzo Mele I am Samu at Olise. Uguti wa pisa na nekanda lake. And kune ngane that she doesn't know of where it is. The same would go for men. So sometimes you find a really great guy and you're like, wait, I'm healthy, you're healthy. Doctors say you don't have an issue with fertility. Why are we struggling to have children? Kandi, he donated his sperm a couple of years ago. And now there's already ingane. Abatalabak nige zingane. Right? And blessings should always bring more blessings. Okay? You're asking for a blessing of Mtuana um, with yourself. But I'm going to be like, wait, we've already given you a child. And you but then haven't acknowledged me it. Decolonize me quick. Um, in ancient times, yeah. if I am your sister and mm. your wife cannot conceive, mm. I would somehow make the bet, or, or, or my husband, or yeah. so, you know, we would do that for each other's family. Yeah. So, yeah. how is that different to You're this? You're correct. You're correct. We would do that as a family. Sometimes, yes. if I can't conceive, then my brother would step in and yes. help, right? Yes. But the difference is, we all know in each the other. Family. It's within the family, and the child knows. The issue now is. That is not known of. Living in Germany, Living somewhere, somewhere doing this thing. You see, Baba Ingane needs to be acknowledged. Ibiigwe o kanyu i i tolimbele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see. Whew, it's very interesting. Do we have another voice note? Let's go for it. Uh, good morning, morning show. We na buza na ugut mchambe maugut uti we atoni tangespe. Be o wagam keys we nangzonde example nje lo wagam keys. To the smooth donator, donatile in Tombazan, Ezalo Mamma, Wagam Keys, a patriona, with this bongo, Sagajamin, Quenzal and Janin, a wing and a lap. Okay, okay. No, not a problem. It's an easy one, Lay Wilungis. The fact that they know Uzi and Wagam Keys and Umawa, Umawa and Tombazan, Wagam Keys, got to send this bongo, Sagajamin. Yeah. Leongan, a batat symbols by M. Samo. But she's in paper, Bob is a band about that. But has the same would you know? Umtuana has the seed of an Mkize man, but the li but Ukoko as well of Umtuana was also Mkize. Therefore, there's that incest, la Ukeza land or le band about that. Sishans Umtuana from the spiritual consequences of that incest. But that's it, cousin young Umswane. I guess Mtuana and the child will be perfectly fine. That's the magic formula right there, CMT. There's nothing a goat can't fix. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Sia, give us your Instagram. How do we follow you and DM you and find out more answers? At CM Kize on all social media handles. And if you want an online session with myself, couples, individuals, and families, info at spirit animals with an S. Listen, I mean, this really is the decolonization project. And thank you very much for being at the helm of it and being with us on the morning show. Thank you. <laughs> we'll take a short break. We'll be right back.